Hello everyone, welcome to my world. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. And in today's video, I have a little Valentine's Day makeup look for you. So if you wanna know how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I've already toned and moisturized my face off camera and now I'm priming my eyelids. I use the YSL Couture Eye Primer in the shade Fair and just put it all over my eyelid. I was really excited to film this video because I use the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. It came out a few years ago and it's absolutely beautiful. So shout out to my sister for letting me borrow her palette. But to start off, I used the shade Silk Rogue and applied it all over my lid just to help set the concealer and also mattify the entire lid. Then before moving on with my eyeshadow, I just wanted to fill in my brows. So for that, I use my Annabelle eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown and just filled in any gaps and gave my brows some shape. If you're a subscriber of mine, you've probably seen me do this a thousand times before. So whilst I'm doing that, I just wanted to fill you in on where I've been, why I'm not posting as much, and what's going on with my channel. But to keep it short, I started a new job back in mid to late November, and it's just been keeping me very busy, and I've kind of been struggling to balance my work life, my personal life, and then filming and editing, which sucks because I genuinely enjoy making content. So that being said, I will continue to post whenever I can, and hopefully I'll do a better job of juggling everything, you know, a little bit down the line so just bear with me but anyways back to the tutorial once I'm done with filling in my brows and cleaning them up with some concealer I use this clear brow gel from st. Lux and just used it to set my brows into place Then going back into the Natural Lust palette, I'm going to take the shade Hot to Trot on a medium blender brush and start by applying it to the outer corner of my eyelid. Sorry, I know it's a bit hard to see the colors because the sun was being a bit of a pain on this day. Anyways, the lighting does get better a little bit later on in this video. But yeah, I'm just going back into the shade Hot to Trot a few times and just building up the color on my lid. But I'm mostly focusing it throughout my crease and on the outer corner of the lid. The next shade I used is Pinned Down and for this I first used a crease shader brush and again I focused this color on the outer corner and crease of my lid. Once I had a decent amount of eyeshadow on the eyelid, I did switch back to a medium blender brush and just kind of blended everything out to make sure that it didn't look patchy. And I also winked out the shadow just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Tan Latte and I'm using this one because it's very light on me. So I recommend using a concealer that's a few shades lighter than your skin tone for this step, especially if you have medium to darker skin tones. So just using a precision concealer brush, I am applying the concealer to the inner half of my eyelid. Now I'm going to use a shade Come and Get It and I used it as a transition shade so I just applied it to the center of the eyelid. Next I took a mix of two shades, it was Buff It Out and Love Language and I focused that on the inner corner of my eye and blended it nicely into Come and Get It so that there's a smooth transition between the two shades. I 
And then here I went back into hot to trot first and then a little bit of pin down as well just to make it a little bit more pigmented. So once I was satisfied with the color and the blending, I used another concealer for under my eyes. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Warm Honey. And I just used it to cover up the dark circles I have and brighten up the area before I applied the eyeshadow. Of course, I always mess up my eyeshadow when I apply concealer or foundation or whatever it is. So I'm not very careful, but that's fine. It's an easy fix. So here I'm just taking a little bit of hot to trot on a brush and fixing the part I messed up with the concealer. And then I also switched to a completely clean blending brush with no product on it and kind of used that to buff out the corners of the eyeshadow so that there weren't any harsh edges. Then for my bottom eyelid, I took a bit of hot to trot and pinned down on a crease shader brush and just applied it to pretty much the entire bottom lid and winged it out as well. Going back into the palette, I took the shade just like that. Since all the eyeshadow I used so far was matte, I wanted a little bit of sparkle, so I focused that on the inner corner of my eye. For any glitter fallout, I just used a clean brush and dusted it off. Next, I used the YSL Shocking False Lash Effect Liner and just did a thin line along my lashes. I thought I would skip the winged liner because I knew I would be using a set of lashes that were pretty dramatic, so I figured I would skip the wing for now. And then I always curl my lashes first and put on some waterproof mascara, even if I'm wearing falsies. The mascara I used on my top lashes is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara. And I know it doesn't look that great here, but that's because the tube is almost dry, but it is a pretty good mascara. As for lashes, I was really excited because I was sent a few pairs from a company called Pinkseo, and I did a terrible job showing the box, but this is what they look like on the site. The pair that I used today is called Queen Harmony. They're luxury 3D faux mink lashes. And before I glued them on, I did put them on my eyes just to kind of check the length, and they were just a tiny bit too long, so I did trim them before sticking them on my eyes. To be honest, they're not the type of lashes I would normally go for because they're quite dramatic. I usually like something that's a little bit more on the natural side, but I actually really liked how they looked on me, so I'm kind of glad that I got to try them out. It was a bit of a struggle to glue them on for some reason, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when they're on there. So that's what they look like. Again, really dramatic, but still really pretty and wearable. And I think they're kind of perfect for Valentine's Day. They've got that like flirty vibe, if that makes any sense. So I'm glad I went with these lashes. Then just to put the finishing touches on my eyes, I use the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara on my bottom lashes. And of course, I could not resist. I ended up going back in and winging out my eyeliner. I don't know, I just, I can't help myself. But yeah, that's it for the eyes. I did do my second eye off camera and now we can move on to the rest of the face. So for the face, I started off with some primer and I used the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer and just applied it all over my face. Then I color corrected any dark spots with some reddish orange concealer. Now for foundation, I had to mix two foundations together because neither of them are my skin tone unfortunately. So I combined the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation in the shade Warm Almond, which is a tad bit too dark for me. And I mixed that with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NW40, which is a tad bit too light for me. So I did just mix them on my hand and then applied it to my face and then blended it all out with a liquid foundation brush. Yeah. 
then of course we have to contour so i use the l'oreal shaping stick foundation in chestnut and put it in all the typical spots so jawline forehead cheeks and blended it out For blush, I use the NARS blush in Savage. Now, typically, I only use a matte blush, but this is a shimmering red-brown. I do regret using the brush I did in this video. I only used it because I only have one blush brush, and I didn't want it to have any residual sparkles left on it. But the brush I did use wasn't picking up enough of the product, so I was kind of struggling to build it up. Then I like to do some powder contour as well. So I use the Makeup Revolution Shook Eyeshadow Palette and I use the shade Reckless for contour. Then to set the rest of my face, I use the MAC Mineralize Loose Powder in Dark. I know this was discontinued a little while ago, which is a bummer because it's a pretty good product. But anyways, I just applied it to my face with a beauty sponge and I didn't put on too, too much. But as usual, I still messed up my eyeshadow, but it's fine. I just dusted it off. Finally, we can move on to the lip. So to start off, I use the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Whirl. On top of Whirl, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Veronica. To be honest, this lip combination was way too bright pink looking. So to darken up the lip a little bit, I went in with the NYX Liquid Suede Lip in the shade Vintage. It's a deep dark red, so it helped balance out the pink a little bit. But in hindsight, looking at the footage, I would change the lip combo completely. It's just a tad bit mismatched with the eyes. But anyways, to lock everything into place, I set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And once that's dry, that is the finished look. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a safe and happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.